switch on the side of the um, A few different ways to get this frame. And I saw a lot of people, when I was talking about this one, um, a lot of people were going all the way over with their arm and you're going to get caught in a head and arm triangle there. So don't do that. Don't reach so far that you're going to go all the way to the other side. All you're looking to do is make enough frame to do that. That's all you're looking to do with that one. Okay. So when you do this one and you're doing the head torque one, don't reach so far that you're going to get yourself in a really bad position. Okay. So all you're looking to do is misalign his body with mine. Okay. Right here, see how his spine is, um, you know, pretty close to in line with mine. It's not perfectly teased. You know, it's kind of at a 45, but I don't want it here. Okay. So I'm going to torque his head out of the way just enough to bring my frame on the inside, and now I'm. Now I'm here. Okay. So to uh, to get our knee shield, all we're really going to do is keep our frame and hip escape, and use our knee to come across here. Okay. At the same time, we're using our frame. This hand can come on the inside and and uh, reinforce your frame to extend your back, and then you open your knee. Okay. Once you're here. This elbow needs to come to the inside of your knee. This elbow stays to the outside and makes it easier for him to either get on the inside of your knee or smash it down this way. And so my, my knee shield really isn't that effective. Okay? So once you get here and you open this up, put your elbow to the inside of your knee. That reinforces it. Okay? So one more time on that. We're here, we gotta get this frame in, okay? You know, you can do this and do the shaving thing, that's a thing too, that's fine. Or you can do the one that I just showed you. So let's say we get to here, we just do the shaving. Okay. Use our foot and hip escape, okay, so we can bring our knee across. Reinforce, extend our back. Okay, don't think about pushing him and bench pressing him, think about extending your back. Okay, so there's a difference there. I'm not. You can hold on. If I try to push, you can hold on. If I extend it back, you can't hold on. And I open my knee, and I get to here. Okay? So are we good on that? Yeah. Okay. So, from here, we did a, a, a choke series. So we're not tucking their lapels here. Okay, you might, you know, just rolling, it might happen naturally, or you might have to untuck it. Okay. Okay. From here, untuck out this way, behind us. <laughs> Okay. From here, untuck, feed it, so we pull it tight, and feed it to your other hand here. Okay, so boom, here. This hand now comes in front, palm up, so this hand, palm up to right here. Okay. From here, palm up, right here. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to angle my body and grab here, okay? This elbow comes straight down when I apply the choke. This elbow's going straight down, and this one's coming to my side, okay? So, once I'm here, I'm blocking, making sure he can't get a hold of my head, send my body, grab this elbow, come straight down to the mat, and that one comes across, okay? So that's choke number one. Choke number two, I get to here. Okay, I'm going for, for this one, but he's blocking my arm. He gets, so I, if he blocks that arm, I can't really get up there with my other arm, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sit up. I gotta extend my leg, I'm gonna sit up, and underhook. Every two, underhook, and open his elbow, and pull it across and go back to my side, okay? Now here. My hand can either come underneath his far arm or his head. Hug everything close. I'm going to let go of this so I don't choke him. Hug everything close. I'm going to pull my arm this way. Come here. Hug him close. Pull my arm this way. Okay, so you have either the head or you come underneath the arm. Pull this way. Sometimes, if you want to, you can kind of do the same drill that we did before. 
Pull it, shift my hips underneath and bring them over. Stay on my side. Okay? I don't want to try to come up. Okay? I loosen the choke so that way I'm eating up a little bit. But from here, my hands are still the same. Hold them and pull up this way. Okay? So, I'm here. On top. Feed it over. This. Palm up here. Choke number one. So my body, grab, come down, choke number one. Choke number two, he blocks my arm. He's not letting me have it. So I sit up, underhook, and pull it on across. Back down to my side, underhook, choke one. Any questions on that? You good? I explained everything perfectly. You guys understand everything. <laughs> <single day. laughs> good one back. Uh, what keeps them down as you're feeding them with all across the back? So, you want something like right here? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing keeps them down. Um, <clears throat> this is kind of a step by step. So, when I show this, is uh, in reality, it's not going to be like that fast. You might have to do it a step at a time, fake another choke, start going for a switch sweep, come back here, and then once you get to here, now you're pretty, you know, pretty golden at this point. Because as he postures, if he tries to posture out of that, he sets up my grip really, really nice. Okay? Now I'm going to add on one more choke, just for fun. Okay? So, until we get here, boom, we come to this, ah, you know, maybe I'm trying this. Can't get it, trying this, can't get it, can't roll them over. So what I'm gonna do with this hand, grab his sleeve. So I put up on my elbow, grab his sleeve. Okay, I'm gonna loosen my grip here, so I this to pull out. So I grab his sleeve, punch it across. Now you can finish it this way. One thing I like to do is I have to hook. And you can use either knee, but your bottom knee is preferable, okay? So I'm gonna come here, bring my bottom knee right on the back of his elbow. If I have to, I can roach it all the way through. There's like no escape in that really. So, one here. So just play with this. You know, once you get here, there's no like, you know, there's no like sequence, sequence that has to happen when you're trying to hunt up this. You just want to make sure that you're not going to just be like this and then just get smashed and pass. Okay, or you want to make sure that you're here, you're not so busy with your hands that he hugs my head, and oh, no, it doesn't matter if I have this, he can just, okay, great, sweet, <laughs> choke you, you just wait, I'm going to choke you, so, <laughs> wait till you pause your head. <laughs> so, there's no, like, secret to it, you know, you just want to make sure that this, and you're, you're keeping them away, so, do it a little bit at a time, you know, make sure you're blocking here, and then when you're ready, you kind of come up to here, you know, this doesn't matter, palm up, palm down, just grab it. This one matters, palm up. Okay? And then you have the other two chokes. Two chokes. Okay? This one, see when I said, you know, when you're framing here, your elbow to the inside of your knee, when you go for this choke, when you go for the first one, your knee has to come out to the bottom. Okay? But you're not going to go down to here, per se. You can still get it from here. No big deal. But, you know, in case you don't get it, you still want to be in a good position, okay? So, when, once you set this up, bring your knee right underneath and leave it there. Okay? So that way you can send away, grab, and okay? Good? All right, hands up. One, two, three. So, okay, same thing. Pull, get that out, okay? Get it over. So once I hit here, and this is what we did yesterday, so it's kind of recap. Once I hit here, and I start grabbing with this one, he kind of knows what's going on, and he loops his head out. So right away, what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend my leg out, and I'm going to sit up, okay? I'm going to reach around his head. I have to make that a deep grip, okay? When I sit up, I can't just be here, okay? So when I sit up, my elbow, the inside of my elbow is behind the head. Okay. So 
So here, he just looped his head out, or I just fed it to here, either one. I'm just tying this onto another series, so it's just another choke in a series. You can just go for this choke right here if you want. Okay? So I sit up, hug the head, bring it back down, and I feed this lapel to this hand. Okay? This is going palm facing him or thumb against your neck, whatever way you want to think about it. Okay? So I feed that lapel to here. Okay? Now, I bring my shoulder in. It's really important that you do that. If I just hang out here, you can pull his head out and loop it under my arm and it's gone. Okay? So as soon as I get this, my shoulder comes in and blocks. I'm going to go to my back first, and I can finish the choke here. If he decides to roll, to loosen it up, doesn't matter. I'm going to finish it here. Okay. So it's really important that you block with that shoulder, and then you pull your elbow back. Okay. So, I get to here. Pull the lapel open. Get to here. He loops, or I just pull it over the shoulder. Okay? Sit up, hug, pull. Shoulder comes forward. Okay? Really exaggerate that. Okay? Scoop my hips under, finish the choke. He decides to turn. I hold him from going too far. Finish the choke. Okay? Pretty simple. Any questions on it? Is there anything you do to clear when you first sit up, kind of clear the arm? Because um, he's already got a hand right there on your hip or chest, or is there anything you really yeah. do that it makes it feel like it'd be hard to sit up with that? Yeah. yeah. So you're, you're talking like right here? Yeah. Um, if, if he's putting on your chest, it might be kind of hard uh, for him to do that. <laughs> and at this point, like, that's like, one of like the cues to uh, not go for it, right? So from here, he's really pushing on my chest. Obviously, I can't sit up, okay? So you might be able to do other things, you know? Walk with your knee, pull him down, all this kind of stuff, okay? So once I get here, and if, if he's walking, oh, I'm trying to sit up. That's okay, I just pull across. That arm really doesn't matter. Walk with my shoulder. There's ways to get that around. You can use your leg, shuck with your arm. Yeah. Any other questions? Okay. Let's uh, practice that five minutes a piece. Okay. One, two, three.